You wanted to discuss something. I'm looking for Triss. Letho forced her to teleport near Vergen. Letho? Voltest's killer. Perhaps Demavend's too. Will you help me find her? Certainly. We sorceresses must stick together. We have too many enemies. Triss contacted you through Sheila de Tanzerville's megascope while in Flotsam. And I haven't heard from her since. Can you locate her? A megascope responds to a person's aura. If I had something of hers, I could find her. You were close to her. Maybe you have something. No, I don't have anything. Not good. Wait. A local drunkard claims he saw a redhead fall out of the sky. This could be a lead. I never heard of flying women before. Perhaps they're just drunken delusions. It's possible, however, that an unstable teleport ejected Triss near the town. As it's our only lead, I'll talk to this drunkard. Do you know him? I'm not used to associating with drunkards, but you'll likely find him in the inn. Thank you. Come back as soon as you learn anything. Let me tell you about the woman who fell from Look, the sky. Look, another one. Ah, you let one human in and no time times. you've got a ah, I've heard enough of flying women. Ants, it was very unusual. I human women need only What's a bit unusual is if you return me home sober for once. You won't trick me into buying you around. I heard you saw something interesting. As clearly as I see you. Amazing. And look into the sky. But wait. You must buy a fellow a drink for such a story. Well, you shut it already. We can all recite this bullshit now. I'm a client and I'll say what I want. Pour me some Mahakam and Mead and no cheating. This noble wayfarer will pay. I'll pay, but if you bore me, I'll shove this mead up your ass. You're such a fine liquor. And my ass has no taste. <laughs> you won't regret it. Speak. Last week I was passing by the gullies. I like to take a hike from time to time. Get to the point. Hush. So I'm walking and suddenly there's a flash, a crack. I'm thinking, a storm's coming, but nearly a cloud in the sky. You hit the ground with your arse so hard you saw a flash. You were that drunk. Then I saw people lying in a gully as if they'd fallen from the sky, a man and a woman. The woman was so beautiful, I wished she'd fallen down on me. Did you get a good look at the man? Huge fella. His mug cut up like he shaved with a scythe while drunk. What did the woman look like? A redhead. Wearing a vest and high shoes with pert tits and a round arse. Just waiting to be grabbed and... <laughs> That sounds just like your old lady. Shut your mouth! What happened then? Well, the woman was hurting, couldn't get up. The man clearly disliked her, because he didn't help her. He just stood there, menacing and talking. And then he left, and the redhead stayed. Noticed her tits, but didn't even try to help her, you sod. I was about to do exactly that when a troll came out of the gully. Ugly as shit after blueberries. Did it attack her? Not at all. I hid and saw everything. First he sniffed her, so I thought he'd eat her. But he didn't. He threw her over his shoulder like a sack and returned to the gullies. Is that all? Yes. Didn't waste your money, as you'll agree. That witch is Lucy. He travels the land, killing monsters for coin. How's he got How can I help you? Please, 
someone who can change. How can I help you? I'd like to play dice poker. So, shall we play now? You won. I'll take my coin, please. You're too good for me. Try the head man. Cecil Burden. Might do just that. Sorcerers mutated him. Welcome, Witcher, to my humble home. I'm looking for a dwarf by the name of Baltimore. Does he live here? Master Baltimore vanished some time ago. Who was Master Baltimore? He was our runesmith. The greatest specialist the world has ever seen. A lot of water has flowed down the pond tar since he disappeared. Yet me and my apprentices still can't recreate all the runes he could inscribe. How did he vanish? One day he just up and disappeared. He had his fears, even paranoia, but that comes natural with great artists. Thought someone was out to kill him. Then he vanished without a trace in mysterious circumstances. After a month long search, we held a funeral without his body to honor the memory of the great master. Is that all? Baltimore's best apprentice became the new runesmith and life goes on. Who lives here now? Yours truly. As Baltimore's best apprentice, I became the new runesmith. Got this house, along with the honor of continuing the great master's work. Can you tell me something about that moldy door? That's the entrance to Baltimore's old workshop. Mind if I take a look? Not at all. Only you won't find anything but scrap metal and cobwebs.
I heard the rumble, Witcher. Everything all right? Yeah, just some rubble. Find anything? Not a thing. Poor Baltimore lost his mind before his death and must have destroyed all his notes. Why are you so sure he's dead? You didn't find a body. Maybe he just departed. Well, if he departed, he's as good as dead to us. A decent dwarf don't leave his settlement. Tell me, why are you so interested in Baltimore? Curiosity, nothing more. Curiosity can be dangerous. It's led many a man astray. Are you threatening me? On the contrary. It's more of a warning. See ya. Don't try anything. Who there? A witcher. Bumpkins wishes sent to me kill. So be. Kill. Quick. No pain. First tell me, where's the woman you kidnapped? Kidnapped none! I troll! 
A dwarf saw you carrying a human woman. Me stupid. Sick she. Me carry. Her help. Feed. Pet. But she run go. Mrs. First run go. Redhead then. All gone. Soup only stay. What's in the pot? Soup. Elf and onion. Good. One try? I don't really care for onions. Stupid wisher. Elf good taste with onions. Tomato like. Where did you get the elves? Mrs. Bring from Garley's. Like I bring redhead. The redhead's in the soup too? No. Redhead run go. Mrs. Run go. All gone. Only soup. Stay. Tell me, troll, what happened here? Me in Gullies, Mrs. in Gullies. Bones found. Nice to know. And one, Humis from Skyfall. You're a lying, troll. People don't fall from the sky. Troll, true tell. Flash crack. Two Humis drop where Dumble ship. Humi man, big as troll. And Humi. I go see. Was the man bald? Did he have a scar? Wish a man likes man. See, I from far. Bald, yes. Scar, no see. Run, he go to Gullies. Leave redhead Humi. Down. See, I go. Redhead grown. Her. Closer I cree. Run, she not go. Let her grow. Take me to me, woman. Go home. Missus angry. Go to me when thin bones. Hungry, missus, yap and yap. Then run, go own for food. Give water, redhead to me. Leaves cover leg. Humi redhead nice. Pet she when sleeps. Redhead have kerchief. Nice to sniff. Mrs. come back. Elves in hand. Drop thin wench, idiot, she call. Mrs. yap. Rag give. Troll say not. Nice to feel. Stench troll like. Missy say she or me. Troll think. Nice redhead, nice rag stench. Troll, Mrs. Tell. Mrs. Troll with log beat and run go. Even left elves. What happened to the redhead? Redhead, wrong pain. Redhead stay. Pain gone. Redhead run go at night. Troll sleep. Wind howl empty. Do you still have the redhead's bandana? No. Missus take away. Old bug leave elf's frag steal and run go. Where did she go, your wife? Gullies. Mrs. Gullies like. Gullies me like. Why don't I look for her? Wish a missus no kill. Good old bug. Little batty. I won't hurt your woman. Mrs. Tell come back. Below. Be terrible. Wind howl empty. Fine. I'll tell your mate to come back. But I need the redhead's bandana. Mrs. have. Mrs. good. She up give. Soon as she back.
I knew you were hiding something from me, Witcher. I wasn't the only one to hide something. Baltimore's notes state that the Master will return from the grave to meet with you. Nobody returned from where we sent him. You just admitted to murder. Aye, but what of it? No one beside you knows, and you'll not leave here alive. Get him, lads! <laughs> Better lunge at her all at once. She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of specters. Now we're up against a furious she-troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We could use professional help, would you? Help us. I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their side? None of your business. I need her, and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. Walk away, and nobody else will get hurt. You won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, men! Spare us! Witcher! The king will pay our ransom! I'm not looking for a ransom. 
Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. We're soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. Neither do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander, we were to find a Witcher. A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired with a wolf on his neck. You're looking for Letho. You know him? You could say that. I'm looking for him too. What do you know about him? Sheila de Tanzerville told us to search the ravines for this Letho. All we found was a camp strewn with dead Scoia'tael. This Letho was responsible for the bloodbath. And he did not act alone. Where was this? On the other side of the Wraith's Mist. What were you to do with him? Kill him. And anyone with him. Anyone? Are you sure? That was the order. Do you know where Letho is? Somewhere on the other side of this mist. We found a trail, but then the mist descended. We got lost, and emerged from it here. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrat, known as a Dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensel tired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. Humi's troll see to kill Humi's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other. Good, you help. Troll, you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No! Idjit, shoo me, redhead grope. He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him! Too late! Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Back, good, the like. Me back for wish I asked. Stay away if we shall not ask. Mrs. Wise, idiot you, hew me woman grope. No more, never again. Give me the bandana. Here, stupid old buck. Troll, give horn. In danger, we shall blow. Troll. Thanks. I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers stench. Troll bring bird dung. Eject! What troll do in lair? Nothing. Me see! Stench! The stench will run! Go! Hew me stench! Sleep no me!
Why the pricks of the male gods? Master Baltimore's notes! Where did you get them? I discovered his vault near the troll's lair. By the way, Thorak, your new rune master, is dead. He and his two apprentices have left for a better world. What? How did it happen? Thorak murdered Baltimore. There's enough evidence in the notes I just gave you. Thanks, Witcher. A reward for your labors. It's not much, but I'll be needing funds to appoint and equip a new rune master now. I'd like to play dice. Shall we? Taxes. Here are your winnings. Aren't you gonna ask for a rematch? You're too good. Try Haggard or Smith's Apprentice. You wanted to discuss something. Your friend Sheila is conniving with Henselt. I know this, Witcher, but it's no cause for concern. Sheila is there to ensure Henselt doesn't fall prey to the same people who killed Foltest. We don't want him as sovereign of the Pontar Valley, but we also don't need Kedwin to descend into civil war. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoia'tael. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoia'tael leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demavent's son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. 
The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. The fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. I'm not sure if Prince Stennis is guilty, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. Power. The object of dark desire. Let's go, before this dark desire becomes too strong and someone gets hurt. You go. I'll locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Just fell unconscious. I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Such judgment is above their station. I believe it's Hensel's provocation. He wants to drive a wedge between us. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. Wraiths Humans only the care how their asses the rise as their stations do. They're playing into Hensel's hands. If they start the at each other's throats, the we'll death. have to face the that entire might of Kedwin alone. You can't Power. mix water as with I fire. Every princeling like Saskia could. Guilt and you see what they did to her? Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. I'll grant you that. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights, Adernian noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vulgan. Or doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvath! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! 
We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as estations do. They're playing into Henselt's hands. If they start at each other's throats, we'll have to face the entire might of Cadwin alone. You can't mix what... They're playing into Henselt's hands. If they start at each other's throats, we'll have to face the entire might of Cadwin alone. Come over here. Otherwise, it's vigilante justice. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel? Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once then with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. You know Saskia's servant? Willy of the Oblates. He handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willy of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth, then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him. A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler, the Virgin of Eden! It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage, but he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal, our way. And the non-humans? We have enough down on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Away with them! Farewell. Give us this whole power! Rolling dung, you surly dog! You will change your tone when we... Save your threats for your hogs. Can we have a word? Why not? I'm Ogden, a founder. I cast mugs, plates, chalices. You need any, Witcher? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible. Impervious to both the fury of sovereigns and servants who are all thumbs. Saskia's chalice was new. Aye, it was. Back in Mayor Farragut's day, a venture Saskia was no more than an itch in a da's breeches. Who ordered the goblet from you? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay tribute to Saskia. I got the honor of casting and presenting it to a lovely leader. The lass liked it so much, she's not used any other vessel since she received it. Was the order for a normal goblet? Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. I ornamented it richly, even on the inside. Not terribly practical, that, as it's hard to get clean. Some scum is bound to remain. But I wanted it looking downright regal, worthy of our Saskia. The other chalices were not ornamented on the inside? Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in Vergen. Could someone have tried to copy your handiwork? Ha! 
I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw-up. He's not produced one decent vessel. They all look like the work of a drunken elf. Thorax, his name. See you at the inn. We'll grab a beer. It's good to see someone's taking care of it. Prince has it coming, methinks. Good. Bloody bastard poison the bar. Damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. He cannot be trusted. If he found proof of Stennis's guilt, he'd point his bow the other way. They say someone cast a spell. And the virgin fell as if dead. Could be. Sorcerers are a plague of the worst kind. Hang them all by the balls and let her swing. There goes the PC. Nobody will believe me anyway. Strangers, more strangers. I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing. Don't know nothing. And didn't see nothing. Tell me everything you know about the attempt on Saskia's life. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody, said the virgin, is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave, I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say... Just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. What should I pale face? Eyes like embers. He raised his hand and pointed a finger at it. I'd rather rabbit dogs anyway. bite me in the arse than be pointed at by some wraith. What happened then? They say what someone cast a spell. <laughs> I'll say it again. <coughs> Humans are strange. Let's hear it. Sorcerers are a plague of the worst kind. Tents, thick as corn stalks to the horizon. Banner. You a jester? 
Back if not for that damned yore with the serfs would probably be hanging as I see it. See, she is dead. You're stupid. She just fell unconscious. As I see it, every princeling likes to ski. Give us this whole Guilt power! Must be proven. Rolling! Otherwise. I want to speak with the prince. You're unique, then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed the royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe, my head held high, and I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, your highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. 
There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why. The mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice. It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? It's not clear how the prince poisoned the wine, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her, you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene dumbhead, the prince can, curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they wanted, nobody but Stennis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stennis' leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stennis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stennis' time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. 
Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No, you are guilty, Prince. You know you are. Nobles won't forgive them that. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't keep peace in Vergen with strength alone. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia is the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Henselt with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Scoyatal are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave shortly. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoyatal. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope. So, you got it over. I'm on my way to the recruiting station. I don't know. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. The mist is full of wraiths. I'll help you. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then.
You wanted to discuss something. There's proof that the Wild Hunt is a vast accumulation of the power. Something that would interest mages, you'd think. To the mere mortal, anything that is not immediately comprehensible is suspect. The product of a conspiracy. And where there's a conspiracy, well, it's obvious mages must have hatched it. I'm a mortal. Though probably not a mere one. I found the notes of a man who spent his entire life... Paranormal phenomena interests Cynthia, my, uh, intern. Take this up with her. Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Who are you? I'm Cynthia, a mage in training. Philippa is my mentor. My condolences. No need for that. True, she's a demanding mistress, but she can also be charming. Besides, she's the best there is, Witcher. She has no equals. Excepting, perhaps, the old elven sorceresses. You should see her cast spells. Light and graceful she is. Not like that old tart de Tanzaville. You know Sheila? I've seen her cast spells. I've seen all the great sorceresses at work. Sheila's quite manly in her style. Precise, logical, exceptionally composed. But she lacks grace and suppleness. Is that your opinion? Or are you just repeating what Philippa says? We agree in our assessment. Triss Marigold, on the other hand, is talented. But she lacks determination, courage, and a certain cold willfulness that seems necessary. That's interesting. Kira Metz and Margarita Lo Antiel are both blasé, seemingly resigned. One's a hedonist and nymphomaniac, the other cares only about her school. They lost enthusiasm for magic long ago. Then there's a Francesca Finderbear. Nobody really knows what the old she-elf is capable of, but she's clearly very powerful. I take it Philippa has none of these flaws, but she must have some weakness. Ambition. Infinite. Boundless, and burning like the Korath Desert. Just out of curiosity, how much does a magic course cost these days? <laughs> I'm certain you can't afford it, Witcher. Besides, you're too old. No matter. I have a few of my own tricks as it is. <laughs> you mean Witcher's signs? Hmm. <laughs> Philippa can conjure up the illusion of a garden full of flowers, fruit trees, and young elves of both sexes copulating merrily all the day. And the illusion is complete. The flowers have an aroma. The fruit and she-elves are juicy. Invite me over the next time she conjures up this garden. I'd gladly see it. Professional curiosity. Naturally. But I doubt Philippa's in the mood for complicated illusions. She focuses all her efforts on Saskia. I'm trying to learn something about the Wild Hunt. Very interesting phenomenon. Like all mysterious things. Willing to share what you know? Well, I would be. Provided you found the notes of Morton Collis first. He devoted almost his entire life to researching the hunt. We could go into detail if you had his scribblings. I found Morton Collis's notes. So, let's see what you've learned. Well, there are a few documented facts. But Collis notes the existence of plenty of myths and legends. Very true. Where shall we start, then? First and foremost, Collis studied the hunt's movement. Oh, it's well known that the wild hunt moves north to south. Never in the opposite direction. That's what I remember. And Collis's research confirms it. I'm just having trouble understanding why that is. The retinue's trajectory brings it into our world at the North Pole. Thus, once here, the wraiths can only move south. Collis claims the hunt's appearance can be predicted by observing the Orcan Nebula. And eclipses affect how often it appears. In any case, it arrives on the winter solstice, though not necessarily every year. Collis calculated that the hunt slips into our world in those years when the nebula is in the eastern sky. When I pursued the hunt, I passed through many abandoned villages. Well, the wild hunt abducts young people. What for? The race might need workers, warriors. Or meat. Collis seems to favor the slave theory. What's the sorceress's take on the hunt? The topic makes them uneasy. 
Since the Council and Conclave banned the use of mind spells, the Wild Hunt has been a taboo topic. There's some link between mental spells and the cavalcade? Both addle the brain. Anyone who has come in contact with the Wild Hunt has experienced mental instability that either takes the form of insanity or amnesia. You see, the race emit a magnetic field that severely distorts perception and impedes brain functions. People say the Hunt's appearance is an omen of war. In our times, wars are so frequent we might even consider flights of honking geese as their harbinger. The Hunt traverses our world in winter. Wars usually break out in spring, but only because rulers wish their soldiers to die in battle rather than of cold. Let's summarize. Based on his observations and calculations of the Wild Hunt's movements, Collis arrived at two equally important conclusions. The first was that the Hunt is made up of knights who perished in various worlds and have reconvened as a retinue of vengeance. His second hypothesis states that an unknown, extremely powerful force multiplies wraiths, whose task is to travel between worlds in search of slaves. Both theories seem probable. Each time someone runs into the hunt, the wraith's magnetic field causes their mind to descend into chaos. By inference, another meeting with the hunt and its field should reverse the effects of the first. Perhaps. Someone who lost their memory or their mind on their first meeting with the hunt could recover either on the second meeting. But I'm afraid that's unproved. Anyone who has managed to escape the wraiths would rather die than meet them again. So, you can lose or recover your memory by meeting the Wild Hunt. Do you know something I don't? I have amnesia, but my memory's been coming back since a certain event. Since when? Since I killed a spectre, the King of the Wild Hunt. <laughs>